I live here, but not in one of these houses that you see. I actually live in my car back there. My name is Arslan and I've been living in vehicles for the past two years. And today I'm gonna show you how I stealth camp in this small busy town. Okay, so we found a parking spot. Now I wanna get my privacy because obviously you can see everything through the windows and people can see me from the outside. So my priority right now is to install these window covers. Okay, so we have this first one. I'm just gonna push it in. There we go. And now for that window. And for the front of the car, I've got this online. Look how small it is. This entire thing is my window cover. Goes like this, opens up, and expands. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna turn off my camera light and see how dark it is. You can't even see me. Look how dark it is. And now we can turn on the lights that's in the car. There we go, that's one. There we go, that's two. And there's more. So now we can see better. And I could also turn on my camera light. You can see me even better. Woo, that's too bright. So my priority right now is to use a restroom. So I'm gonna use something like this. This is a urinal, it's one gallon, so it holds a lot of urine. So the way I use it is just sit down and then use a device like this and do my business and then that's about it you know it opens and it closes i can seal it it has a little rubber stopper on top so that holds the order somewhat okay and now i can wash my hands And I keep some paper towels right here behind the front driver's seat so I can just dry my hands and I can just put this in the garbage. So it's about noon right now and I'm hungry so let's make lunch. I did stop by the grocery store and I got myself some shrimp so today we're making ramen noodles with shrimp. Got my sesame seeds. I got Cajun, some vegetable oil, and got a ramen. So I'm using my ceramic cooker and it takes a 120 outlet, kind of like the one you have at home. So I'm gonna plug it right into my extension cord right here. Okay. So I'm gonna power that ceramic cooker using my portable power station that's powered by my solar panels. So I'm on the app right now for the power station and I'm gonna turn on the inverter so that we can actually use 120 volt power. We'll make the ramen noodles first. We're gonna get this. And I'm gonna fill it with some water. That should be good. Now we can turn this on. We'll wait for this to boil. It's getting really warm, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my ramen in there. Okay guys, so looks like my looks like my pasta is ready. I'm actually gonna drain some of that water inside. I'm gonna put my pasta right in here. We're gonna put this aside. So I'm gonna take this bag out. And turn this on. Look at that. I can throw this just in the garbage. We got our Cajun spice. We'll actually spray some.
Well, shrimp cooks pretty fast, so this shouldn't take too long. So I'm just flipping these. Look at that. I'm in my car cooking. Let me flip this one. I think it needs a little bit more. Okay, so we're just about done. I'm gonna get my noodles set up. And I'm gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds. We can put these back in the cabinet. This one, this one, this one. You know, I want something to drink. So I carry with me these energy packs. Fill it up with water. So I'm gonna take my shrimp and just put them right over my noodles. It got really hot from cooking inside the car, so I'm gonna take off my sweatshirt. Whew. That's so good. So obviously I don't have a table, so I'm just laying my food right on my bed. That is so good. Cajun on shellfish is amazing. I love seafood in general. I was gonna cook a lobster in this car, but I had mixed feelings about people liking it or not liking it, since it would be a live lobster, right? So I just played it safe cooking this uh, shrimp. Look how big that is. That is so good. Also, ramen noodles are so underrated. You can make so many things with them. I remember the first time I slept in a car, one of the foods that I would eat is ramen noodles, plain, without anything, not cooked, out of the package, as it is dry, almost like chips. And I'm looking back and I'm looking at this moment, a lot has changed, obviously. <laughs> That's the last piece. Mm. So I try not to do the dishes too much. I could, but I'm just gonna wipe this fork, for example. In this plate, I have my paper towel. Just gonna kinda go like this. Get all the big chunks. Like that. Put this in the trash can. Now I can just rinse it a little bit. I can dry it like that. There we go. That, so this one's good. Now this one, I think I'll put some water. Just trying to clean it. That's about it, really. I'm just putting some stuff away. I might make some tea later, so put this on the side. We're done with this. We're done with this. Yeah, that's good for now. So I'm checking my phone right now, and this is for the battery indicator. It tells me how much power I'm getting from my solar panels. I'm only getting about 17 watts or 16 watts. And I think that's because we parked under a tree or next to a tree. It's about 2.30 p.m. right now. So I expected more because it's sunny outside. Anyways, at least we're charging somewhat. Oh, that was a good meal. So the longer that I live in the vehicle, the more that I know what's wrong with it. One of the things that I noticed is I was missing a charging station for my electronics. So my battery is in the trunk and I ran a USB to USB extension cord and it's sticking right out of here at the front of my bed. And then I got this four port USB data hub. We're gonna open it and install it. Goes like this. 
This is garbage. Okay, so it has a long cord, kind of a long cord. That's good. Uh -uh. So this is good. Okay, so I can plug this over here. Okay, and then the other end is connected to my battery. As you can see, it turned on, you can see the lights. What I like about this one is that you can control which ones are charging, which ones are not. See, I can turn these on and off. I'm gonna use um, double-sided adhesive heavy-duty tape and we're gonna put it on one side and then the other side we'll put it wherever we want to semi-permanently mount it. So this is a butter knife, it's not great, but anyways, let me turn on the light. Oh, I can see me better. So I'm gonna take it out and put a strip right like this. Okay. And I'm gonna cut this one side. Can you see that? So we have the one piece on here. We're done with this one. So I'm gonna make sure it's stuck on there. So where do I want to mount this? Let me see. So somewhere like here could be good, right? So let me try that. Gonna apply some pressure. There we go. Now it's kind of concealed. Now I can take my cable. And then take the other end and plug it right into my phone. There we go. It's been a couple of hours and I had to take care of some things, but now we're back. Um, I do want to make coffee and start studying because I have an exam coming up. I'm in nursing school right now and finishing my last semester. Nursing school is very demanding and trying to do this while keeping a YouTube channel alive is insanely difficult. You know, YouTube in itself is a full-time job. But anyways, I need Splenda. Fill up some water. And then meanwhile, we can prepare the coffee. I'm hoping the smell of coffee will cover the smell of shrimp that we cooked earlier. I'm on my iPad. If there's Wi-Fi around me, I can just go ahead and leech, but I could just always use my hotspot on my phone and then connect my iPad to the hotspot. I have a big exam coming up, so I'm very nervous because I feel like I'm behind. And just like that, I can access my study guide. So that's all I'm doing is just reading and trying to memorize and understand items. Let's go ahead, shut that off. So all that's doing is just filtering in that coffee through that little hole. I have these caramel coconut cookies. Look at that. It's, I think it's a ripoff of these uh, Girl Scout cookies. And it reminds me of them because it's it has coconut and caramel and fudge. Mmm. Oh my God. I also don't smell the... I don't smell the shrimp anymore. I think this worked. I could just put this in the sink. I can stir my coffee. Oh yeah, that's strong. Mm-hmm. I do wish I had a fridge so I can add creamer into this, like the good creamer. But I don't have a fridge. And honestly, I don't even know if I have a space for a fridge. It, ha it has to be very small. And by the way, one of my favorite things to do is eat while watching something like a TV show. I have some videos downloaded so I can watch like The Big Bang Theory or The Office. Anybody else like that? Uh, it's a lot better than having to wear noise cancer. Uh, that's my... Alright guys, so I, honestly I'm just gonna study for like a couple of hours. 
so I'm kind of tired of sitting in this seat, in this posture. I find myself trying to readjust. Um, it's comfortable enough, but but now using this configuration right here, I'm trying to see if there's another posture or like a lounging position I could be in to, you know, change up the circulation of my body just to get more comfortable. So I'm gonna try to experiment with this space. Um, I don't know, let me see. Ugh, I'm gonna go like this. Trying to experiment. Is that? Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this might be okay. So obviously my leg is on the kitchen counter. Let me see, can I get my iPad? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess we found a, a lounging position. Oh, it's comfortable enough. Honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of beat. I did some studying and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. I do have classes tomorrow. Let's get into bed. I got my secret weapon. I got my electric heated blanket. See, it's just a regular blanket with a cord sticking out of it. And I'm gonna plug the cord into the power. One, two, three, four, five minutes. This thing is nice and warm. Da, 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 da. That's about it, guys. If it gets really, really cold that I wake up from sleep, I would just remote start the car and then make sure the heat is on and then it'll do that for about 10 minutes. The car will get nice and hot again with the car's engine. And then I will just fall asleep probably for another three or four hours. <clears throat> it's pretty cold. So it's really cold, so I'm gonna turn on the car. <laughs> the good thing about a small car is that the interior is so tiny. With the heat on, the car gets warm really fast. Let's make some tea or something while we wait. The car is pretty warm, so I turned off the engine. So that was about it, guys. I mean, that's all it is. From here, I just go to the gym, shower, change clothes, and then go about my day. So for example, today I have classes. I'm gonna go to my classes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, subscribe. Where do you want me to stealth camp next? Let me know. Have a good day.